Someone once told me that every dream has a destination. My dream of serving the people of rural India took me to a 2 year rural management program of Irma in the small town of Anand, the home of Amul. After my engineering, I had the opportunity to join many prestigious management institutes, but I opted for Irma, an institute which the great visionary Dr. Vargis Kurian established to prepare professional managers who would serve rural India and its people. The campus was dotted with unique structures which were like pearls on a green carpet. Standing tall among these buildings was the Amul Carolan Chimes. It was a reminder of our strength and commitment to the society. When I landed at the campus, I was mesmerized by its beauty. It was created in 1979, almost 40 years back. I now realize that Irma transformed me from a simple city girl to a thinking and passionate professional. During my 2 years as a student, I would walk from my hostel room to the classes, which I called my temple of knowledge i learned not just about management but also about life here i along with many others imbibed the love and dedication of dr kurian's idea of modern management to serve for the benefit of rural india many extraordinary teachers shaped our knowledge and understanding as irma is unique open discussions with professors sitting on the lawns was a unique experience informal discussions and learning were ingrained in the spirit of irma filled with some new learning and experience a cup of tea at our mess lawns with my friends would be the perfect end to the day It was at Irma that I took up running as a challenge. The life-altering decision was complemented by the institute's excellent facilities. The Students Activity Center, fondly called as SAC. This is where we indulged in many sports. Fitness was the key mantra among my batchmates. It was the first time in my life that I played snooker and table tennis with national level athletes. Just one of those Irma things. I am an ardent football lover and to witness the sport on a sprawling ground with tender grass buds was something very exciting for me. cheering for our friends really made our bond grow stronger i realized how games make us human humble and make us fit enough for the real world challenges and strategy execution that management is all about for a food lover like me I never felt the craving for homemade food. As we had an excellent mess run by the students themselves. A very humble and dedicated team of cooks served us tasty and nutritious food every day. I still miss the glass of buttermilk and the chat with friends post dinner. At Irma books were my friends and my hostel room gave me the space to walk through these pages of books with passion every word i read and absorbed shaped my views towards rural society its people and its organizations
beyond the four walls of my room i found another great place where i would spend my time every day it was the ravi j mathai library in the campus that was inaugurated by the then prime minister of india the late shri rajiv gandhi I was told the Irma library was one of the best in India of that era and it is still one of the best among many top management institute libraries it was my paradise where knowledge came to life when i look back today i realize I am what I am because of Irma. It even helped me nurture my creativity. A quite small pond with lotus flowers next to the library was my place for being with me, my ideas and my dreams. The chirping of birds was like listening to nature itself. Irma campus was full of greenery birds and some unusual guests who thrived with us in perfect harmony i am sure many of them still dance there <laughs> an auditorium of 400 seating capacity in the campus was the place to nurture our artistic passion and talent For many of us music was love and love was music. The stage was our first big platform to perform and showcase our talent. The learning ecosystem in Irma was so supportive of new ideas that it had a full-fledged entrepreneurship development cell this was made to support student entrepreneurs to realize their dreams students would ideate and realize many of their innovative experiments with the institute's full support and care i will be forever grateful to irma for giving me so many wonderful friends with whom i shared all the highs and lows of the two most beautiful years of my life Irma had a unique combination of classroom learning and field training segments apart from the summer internship it sent all of us to different parts of the country for a 45 day village field work segment here we learned more about rural life and the wonderful souls that dwell in villages their humility hospitality enterprising spirit and creativity made me recall dr kurian's dream of forging a partnership between the wisdom of india's rural people and the skills of its professionals and how that dream ultimately gave birth to irma i feel proud that irmans are contributing in the development and management of rural enterprises in diverse areas like dairy ngos as well as many social impacting corporates with deep rural footprints and helping them scale new heights during my field work i met many award winning young artists and i deeply understood their work and the challenges they face i also got an opportunity to meet and live with national award winner handloom weavers i realized creating a piece of art is a long tough journey that these wonderful people take with a beautiful smile 
walking over the green sinew paths across the campus i always felt that i was stepping over the footsteps of many great irma alumni who are now present in every sphere of thousands of people shaping their destinies when i was back at the campus it was time for a new journey to begin and the first big challenge was the placements but irma's 100% placements record ensured that within the first few days my batchmates were placed in organizations of their choice my days at irma were about to end but i knew it would always remain in my memories my days at irma were the golden days of my life i am so thankful to irma which gave me everything and presented me with wings to dream and to soar i owe everything to irma